Do you need your teeth cleaned? You might have trouble getting an appointment anytime soon. A lack of dental hygienist means some practices are not taking new patients. Catherine Huntley is drilling to the root of the problem. She joins us in the studio now. Catherine, what can you tell us? Well, dental offices are scrambling to meet patients' needs because they simply don't have enough help. They say the shortage of dental hygienists is the worst they've ever seen. Chelsea Wells loves making people smile, but finding help to do so is like pulling teeth. It's a, it's a stress that you don't realize is just kind of always there. You know, we're looking out further than that, so it's, it's hard. She's the only full-time hygienist at UVMMC's oral and dental health facility. She says a second full-time position has been open for two years. But right now it's just about patient care, and right now people aren't getting, I think we're here booking out nine or ten months. The UVMMC dental office is currently not taking any new patients because of the hygienist shortage. Oftentimes, the dentists themselves need to do cleanings. Dentists like Justin Hurlburt. You got silver fillings in there. He works at the UVMMC facility and is also the president of the Vermont State Dental Society. We believe that we're really at a crisis level at this point um, in delivering in delivering oral health care. His UVMMC office is known as a safety net facility or one that sees patients who have the highest need and often do not have private insurance or are on Medicaid. We've stopped taking new patients, um, which is which is scary for a safety net facility. A lot of dentists around town are doing hygiene now to try to keep up, um, to try to keep their practices going. And that takes away time from them being able to um, to do dentistry on their patients. The problem started during the pandemic. Hygienists either retired or left the profession, and there were too few to fill the jobs. Wells says that's because an oversaturation of hygienists a decade ago caused many new hygienists to leave the state. So there were a lot of people that in recent graduating classes, they didn't stay here, they went elsewhere. So then when all the people either retired or left the workforce, we didn't have a lot of those newer hygienists that we could pull from. So how does the state bridge the gap? Vermont State University has the only dental hygiene school in the state. Usually around 15 to 18 students graduate the program each year. More than 100 students usually apply, but only 24 spots are available. We see these swings in the market every so often. Like I mentioned a few years ago, we were graduating hygienists that couldn't find full-time employment. They'd have to do two days in one practice, two days in another practice. And that was like that for a number of years. And now it's it shifted. It'll shift again um, as we catch up. The hygiene school says it doesn't want to flood the market with hygienists, trying to avoid the oversaturation problem pre-pandemic. However, dentists and hygienists I've spoken with say they need help stat. We need to go to the grassroots and, and develop our own students here. Um, and, I, and I don't think we're being successful at that right now. The program is also demanding. Many hygienists say it's extremely difficult, which is why some students drop out. And when a student quits more than a couple weeks into the education, the school cannot fill that spot because a new student would be too far behind. It takes a lot of study hours, um, a lot of reinforcement. You do have the support from the faculty as well. Um, they're not lying when they say it's difficult, but um, I mean, I'm not a Mensa genius, and I'm still in the program, and I'm <laughs> slated to graduate in May. But he will stand by at some point and take a peek. Many dental offices are also offering generous hiring bonuses on top of salaries that we found can be upwards of $55 per hour or around $115,000 a year. Right now it's a great time to be a hygienist because you can find employment in almost whatever setting you're looking for. In the meantime, dentists and existing hygienists will try to fill the gap in oral care. We want to help everybody. We would help everybody if we could, but we just can't at this point. Hygienists also tell me that they routinely receive messages from recruiters online asking them to move out of state. But there is some good news. Senator Peter Welch secured $5.9 million for the dental hygiene school, which will increase the number of students in the program. But that's still several years down the line. Kat? Catherine, speaking of that school, you said there are on average 15 to 18 students graduating a year. This year, though, there are 34. Why is that? So recently the program switched from two years to three years. So they are graduating two classes of students. That means no students will graduate in the spring of 2025. However, some good news, all 34 students recently passed their clinical boards and are on their way to graduation. And they've been well sought after too. Most already have jobs. The practices I spoke with told me there's big competition to get new grads. Kat? Catherine Hudley, live in the studio, thank you.